Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria at War, playing as the Griffonian Empire. Last time, we took out Yale, we took out Angrifer and Katrin, and even though they are currently occupied states, soon enough we will be able to core them. So right now, we are preparing for a potential war against Greifenmachen SSR, where yesterday's comment, or a comment from yesterday, told me that Wingbert Wilmer, or this entire country, is kind of a parody off of, of course, the USSR. Uh, we'll see what happens. The communists, and we don't really like a communist, so we're going to take him out uh, eventually. Cool. And you guys... I need you guys to break into there. We do want to take out Ro Romal. Romal. That's very good. Very good. We take out Romal. Um, I'm going to do like, like this this time. Uh, what are you guys doing? I'm going to have you guys do that, and I'm going to need the tanks push in across the river, probably. Hmm, I guess you'd come right there, maybe. Just to break over the, the river, which would be great. Let's see. Uh, let's, let, let, let's let time go on. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Very, well, the focus we're currently doing is expanding the R Imperial Railway, because we love infrastructure. We love it. We're doing pretty darn well for ourselves right now, Arcturian Automobiles. We have extensive conscription, which... Are we still mobilizing? We are, which is great. Under Archon Eros the Seventh, What a great guy. We need a little bit more motorized. We have enough guns, but motorized is kind of lacking. Uh, you know what? We'll do that. That's fine. Pull one off of that for... No, you know Pull off two. There we go. We can make, at least make a little bit of fighters, a little bit of early bombers. That'd be okay with me. Do that, and then do that. And perhaps do that too. Cool. Oh, expand the railway system. Good. We're making some roads. Or some civilian factories, I suppose. Now, someone said I should do the coup instead of duchy, but I'm not really sure what that comment was from yesterday. Whatever. Let's just end Romao's autonomy. The last three imperial city of the Empire has refused to remain loyal to us. With this act of treason, they've abandoned their privileges and sovereignty. It is time for us to integrate Romao into the Empire proper and abolish local self-rule. How could such a small country even hope to resist our might? Well, they are guaranteed, I believe, by the SSR here, the Greifenmachen SSR. Yeah, guaranteeing independence of the commune, the Romao commune. You all, we have 1,009, which we're probably going to get improvised or improved infantry equipment. One for a little bit more soft attack, which would be very nice. The Emperor's Education. Uh, if you want to read this, I'll let you go ahead. I'm not going to read this, though, but his potential is limitless. This will be great for Grover the Sixth. He's gonna go play with your friends while he can. Cool. Hopefully nothing happens to him. Hopefully. That's we we get 1.72 political power a day. That's pretty good. Wow, this it's only a 30 day focus. That's great. Hopefully we can go to war economy as well. Oh, we lose political power though. Sabotage. Though that's pretty normal for us. Um, we lose 0.2 political power. I really don't like that. So, this actually already gives us a bonus to military factory construction. We only get 5% more consumer goods. We can build military factories faster. Huh. Hmm. I'm really just building this up. The faster we can make our industry bigger, the better. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Central Bank Griffonians. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we're almost there. And then we can do partial mobilization. Actually, I might lower my trade, but there's really no point to. Cool. And we immediately go to war. Cool. Can I send you over? This actually might be the best way for us to get over the land there. Send half of you guys over there anyway. Send you guys over there. And send these beautiful griffins over there as well. So... Uh, clearing out Scheiswald. Does that literally translate clearing out the poopy forest? Uh, the Scheiswald, a forest spanning most of the Angriver and Katrin, has impeded griffins from developing much of the eastern Hertzland for centuries now. However, we now possess the means to clear out the Scheiswald uh, once and for all. Great machines shall uproot the trees and turn them into the lumber. Strong pumps will drain the cursed swamps and chemical fertilizer will turn it all into rich farmland. We should be able to push through, which would be great. Subjugate the peasants is done. Which was actually all the way over here, which is great. Oh, and do we have resistance? Oh, that makes sense. Let's go ahead. Let's see. We do get 1.59. 1.39 isn't bad either. What is this down here? 
Ooh, more war support, which is okay. We, re we really don't need that, so... It's only 5% more, but it'll make us build things a little bit faster. Nice. And instead of doing that, I want to keep building up our industry. We're, we are a center of commerce in the capital. And then, yeah, do that, too. Great. Push through here. Thank you very much. Especially with the tanks. I love it. Oh, actually, get the tanks right there. Send happy guys right here, too. Actually, if anything, just get the tanks to go that way. Speedy little boys. I love them. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. You can go and help out. And we have the Delay Doctrine Organization. Great. Mobile defense. Awesome. You know what? If we had to push somewhere, I'd probably want to get up there. So, my single light tank, which we do probably want to make better eventually. Come right there. Actually, we do have a little bit of army XP. I haven't made any more divisions yet. I, can I edit this? Now, put us over special forces limit. Maybe we can improve our infantry. How much artillery do we have? We have, wow, quite a bit. If I do this, just for standard try and true 20 combat with divisions, that's not bad, we'll do that. Equestria annex the Buffalo Kingdom. Chiefdom. Hmm. And for panzers, these guys are okay. How many light tanks do we have in reserve? Uh, we currently need 180, so it's about 60 per tick. We should have enough. Oh, we need more motorized, though. Um, you know what? Leave that alone for now. That'll be fine. Cool, I'll let you guys go that way. I'll let you guys go that way. And just send happy guys up there with them. And send happy guys up here, too. Great. And the tanks have done it. Cool. These guys are cut off. Ramau with the Tripartite Union aren't... Varenians obsessed with legitimacy? Very nice. If that's the case, we're going to send the tanks in first. Can they pierce me? Nah, of course they can't. Uh, send you guys that way, too. That'll be fine. Landstahl, the commune is surrounded. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. With your griffins up. With your claws up. Your talons up. Ah, oh, very nice. Knights, do your duty. Well, I guess you guys down here first. The commune shall be ours. Oh, wait, no, that's a different tile. Oh, whoops. That's okay. We'll get it down eventually. Actually, for the rest of you guys, you could probably just go ahead and clear them on out with all that extra artillery I threw on these guys now. That should be pretty good. Uh, what are we using for this? Occupied territories. We're using Imperial Guard divisions? That's not a smart thing to do. Uh, so, oh, you know what? I should not have... Oh, Imperial Reservists. That's good. Do we have military police? We do not. Uh, you know what? Then so be it. We have enough army XP. Wait, what, do we not have cavalry? Mo huh. Alright, well, whatever. Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to have cavalry. <laughs> Actually, how good are knights? I don't want to use knights for that, so. Cool, we'll do that. And then Imperial Reservists. Good. Now that, that definitely helps out. We need a little bit more artillery, which is fine. We have radio detection now. Great. It's 1,009. Almost 1,010, so we're going to grab more construction speed. And then some more output. Alright, so we're struggling here a little bit, but now we're not. I love it. And actually, let's plan this. The Scheißwald. Very good. We are winning over here pretty nicely. Yeah, losses? 1,000 versus 25,000? Or, I guess... Almost, roughly 60,000. Great. Actually capitulated faster than the commune. Awesome. And before we do... They should fall soon enough, but they are, they are you know, surrounded by rivers to a degree. Cool. Hurry back in there. It's going to take a little bit of time. So after this focus, what are we going to do? For Mao's under Imperial control, we'll probably do... Fund the Southern Universities or Thethysian Cadet Schools, which... We get more military leader, better military leader costs, and starting level of new army leaders. We get more daily army XP gain and research speed, or we get research speed, stability, and daily political power gain. I'm thinking this is better to do overall. I'm probably going to wait to do that, maybe. There's all following funds. In oh, maybe not. Oh, I have to make a choice? I don't like making choices like this. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. We don't have to. Cool. If this is the case, we're going to start making, like, 
six divisions here. I think that'd be good. Ah, oh, clearing out the Scheißwald. We're so close to being able to get rid of these guys. Uh, we could probably wait just a little bit longer. The Krena Stahl Kondrek. The Krena Stahl Company is the oldest industrial company in the Empire. Being the ones who brought industrialization to the Empire, of course. By reaching an agreement with them, we could not only encourage their growth, but also reap the benefits of their work. Which we get more... Well, we can choose this guy for industrial speed, but we get more steel, which is... Good. Which is always good to have more steel. And... The commune is almost over. And... There you go. Awesome, my friends. Awesome. Cool. After this, then we can choose... Go to war with who? State... Ooh, more daily political power gain and stability. Even though we lose some consumer goods factories. Now, we can bring the Diamond Dogs to heal against Bronze Hill, Strawberry Duchy, or March on Fevistria. You guys are pretty independent... Grand Duchy is guaranteed by this. Basically, we're going to go to war with all these guys, this, guys at the same time. 2 to 14 divisions, 3 to 17, 2 to 8. Yeah, they're guaranteed. So if I go to war with Bronze Hill, they're guaranteed, they're guaranteed by these guys. Duchess. Oh, the evil Duchess. Mm. We could have chosen you, but we chose not to. I'm going to maybe see if we can do go to war with these two first. We might go to war with these guys, but we'll see what happens. Oscar, do you have anything for us? No, that's okay with me. Uh, I need some more. We definitely gonna need more divisions here. Six at a time sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, good. Let's get a fallback line first until we see what happens. You know, instead of six, go for ten. Oh, maybe not ten. Maybe eight. There you go. There you go. Nice. And we've enough artillery for that too. And I do have a cup of Grafonian Earl Grey tea here as well. Mmm, yummy. Cool. Improved infantry equipment. Let's grab some more output. Grifoni democracy. They are free from the old empire shackles. Huh. I'm going to assume it's right here that they did this. Alexander Kamarasky. Is he supposed to be Kolchak? That sounds very familiar. Alexander Kolchak. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Earl Grey tea is pretty good. Let's see. Recovery rate, special forces attack, infantry. Ooh. Is there any decisions that I could take that would be really, really good? This would be always very good to do. Sabotage. Yeah, they'll pay for it. Yeah, whatever. We all know they will. We could borrow money, but we really don't need to. Artillery. I love artillery. Let's go with that. Great. Awesome. We could find this other universities. I'm going to wait to get to this one. So, we're going to bring the dogs to heal and see what happens. We immediately declare war on them. And if it's just a... Oh, I don't know if these guys will go to war with us, though, at the same time. I'm really unsure if they will or not. I at least want to be able to cover my area first. I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's do this. So, Archeon Arion has proposed that we restore the concept of Imperial... Elios. Elios, or Elios in essence, is a concept of providing for others as an act of virtue to spread prosperity to less fortunate griffins in the name of Boreas. Arian reckons that restoring it on a national level would be a great way to garner more support from our poor populace and even earn the favor of the gods. I love it. Now that looks pretty good. This looks pretty weak. We go need more manpower. Or pony power. Oh my goodness, we need we definitely need a core of these areas. So we're gonna get this. And then we're going to restore order to the east, perhaps? Yeah, we get we lose political power, but we get quite a few more cores. And we could curtail the universities if we wanted to. Oh, maybe we can't. No, we can't yet. I would love to do that, but let's at least restore order to the east first. To get more population and spend less on trying to control uh, occupied territories. And we'll grab military police. Wait, how? Militaire polizei aussuch. Cool. Republic of Nova Grafina. Cool. They're fighting each other. That's awesome. Who's else? They're killing each other over here, too. Hmm. Interesting name. They're not having a good time down here. The Parishes of Sycamion. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Wing body. Slander on the Archon. 
The papers are circulating a new story every today. Apparently, Duchess Gabriela Igualcal has taken it upon herself to share several stories of her time in the Imperial Court with a number of radio hosts and journalists. The stories cover a range of subjects and tones, but most significant of all is her description of Archon. She just picks him as cold and callous, constantly scheming behind a thin veneer of holy kindness as he plots to burn the Griponian Empire to the ground. Worse still, he she makes him out to be an incompetent buffoon, tripping over himself in his attempts to manipulate those around him with convoluted plans that always backfire. Of course, those loyal to the Archon know that this is a little more than childish slander, but the damage to his reputation is undeniable. We cannot let this treachery, treachery go unpunished, which we lose stability. Ooh, I don't like that. Hmm. So from here on out, we are going to build one civilian factory and one military factory at the same time. 48. And then I guess next it will be that one, and then 60, and then that one. So we don't have to think about it for a while. I could build dockyards, but... This isn't like Old World Blues, I suppose, where you can just build them on rivers. Cool. Still get 1.45 political power today. That's not bad. Not bad. Come on. Make some more divisions. Let's get some state. Elios, which we get more daily political power. Better. Oh, wow. Quite a bit more resource gain. Plus 15%. We lose some factories, which is fine, which was why I'm building them up some more. And disperse industry. Good. Mm, let's grab that. State Elios. Restore order to the East. The disgraceful administration of the East will be torn down and rebuilt from the ground up. The new governor shall be loyal and just, unlike the previous rulers of Angrever and Katra, and the last remnants of resistance will be destroyed by the local garrisons, and the entire backwards region will be dragged into the modern age, probably kicking and screaming. Which is fine with us. We could ban parties, but I want to kind of keep developing this region here. So we have this, Archon Arian the Twelfth, cool. We have Archon Proteus III, and then we have Hothor Lunar Claw, which looks very cool as a silent workhorse, a workbird. Now, even though we're spending more time, they are getting stronger over there, which I don't really like, but we definitely need more guys around here. Imperial Mountaineers. I want at least a little small con group down here, just in case these guys go to war. If they don't go to war with us, when we go to war with, you know, Bronze Hill, or Bronze Croix, then that would be great, and I can spit my put my division somewhere else. Even though Oscar only has 20 divisions, I wish he had more, but whatever. Oh, let's get that. Any other upgrades for anyone? No? Oh, well, someone capitulated there. Cool. Sabotage, you know, whatever. Can't wait to get more uh, manpower, though. Military high command. Well, we're using armor, but we're using that as well. Infantry. Great. Another division. I'm going to put you right here. Um... I really need to buy this up. You know, I'm gonna put you over here. And you'll be led by... August? Yeah. Duskwing. And we definitely need more divisions now. So you guys are just gonna do this. So you all are on the front here. And this will last until we go to war with these guys. U6 will come down here. I'm actually going to combine... Hmm. I don't want to combine you guys yet. But I do want to pull you out. So, you and you are going to do that. Because the knights can hold the line probably pretty well. Uh, Archon Proteus the third, Sure. Sure. Good. And I'm going to do this. For now. Uh... Cool. I doubt they'll go to war with us, but we'll see what happens. Because I need you, the tanks, to go there. Awesome. Yeah, we definitely need more manpower. Yeah, Jackie Clan, Jackie Stan was annexed. Well, that's not good. And we'll get a little bit more manpower very soon. Very, very soon. In a few days. Oh, resistance, huh? Well, hopefully we don't have to deal with that now. But let's go ahead and bring the dogs to heel. There was once a time where the Diamond Dogs of Bronze Hill were the most loyal servants of the Empire. That seems no longer to be the case, unfortunately. Now they wish to distance themselves from us, forgetting that the fact that we are their sole rightful rulers. A lesson seems to be in order to remind them of their true master. We get more factories. I love it. Get more planes. That looks like a great idea. Oh my god. Now that's a lot more manpower. How course surrounds the winged body. Oh, is that like Albania surrendering to that dude over there? Cool. Oh, more divisions. Great. Throw them right there. They're going to need it. 
Now we should have one division per tile, which would be good. Or close enough. All we need are the tanks, and they will do great. Awesome. We do that, and we can eventually kill off everyone here. And then core stuff, the riches of strawberry. I love strawberry. Uh, time for some more tea. Hmm. Good stuff. Pretty good. We could use a little bit more aluminum. King of wing body. We shall trade just a little bit. Maybe a wee bit more rubber, too. Perhaps we could establish good relations with them. Or maybe just kill them later on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Oh, nice. Very good. Bring the dogs to heal. And now we shall... We could do that, but that hurts our factories some more. Prepare for... Oh, wait. Oh, I could have done that... Instead of spending political power for that. Whatever. Uh, we could do that. I love organization and planning speed, but... Draconian standard. Enter the Scheißwald. Oh, that sounds kind of good. Ooh, agricultural aid. So, though the system of feudalism and serfdom, agriculture has always been the Empire's speciality. However, our outdated agricultural sector cannot hope to contemplate to compete with industrialized nations. With governmental incentives, we can aid our farm estates and allow them to modernize their production methods. Right now, let's go ahead and reorganize this. Who are we at war with? Just these two? Good. Good. Oh, actually, do that. You all do that. I wanna make sure that we are nice and kept right there. Great. Into the lands of strawberry and wine. I'm glad I didn't have to manually do that one. So, uh, tanky boys, just go right there. Uh, you come right there, and then you just come right there. And the tanks go up. And the infantry just go boom, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, go help them out here, just because there is a fort. Great. Kill them off here. And they're gone. Oh. Hello. What did you do? Very good. Uh, if that's the case, you could probably just make a beeline for the capital. I wonder, could I possibly do just... Oh, they're kind of attacking us here, which I don't like, but whatever. We're going to rescue this guy if we can. I want you to do gentle attacks. If you can win, great. If you can't, then, you know, well, we, we'll figure that out soon. We'll figure that out very soon. Actually, you guys could come there to there to there and just go that way. You might be able to circle these guys. Oh, we rescued them. Great. Let the tanks go and have a good time. Oh, you can't win right there. Whatever. Mm, in general, they're winning, but not always, like right there. Which isn't always great. Don't want too many losses. Manpower is precious. Guns are not. Bullets are not. Troftenhaus. Cool. So, as a tactical move, you're not going to let them move. And I love it. You guys can just help them out. There you go. And just go for the capital. Military police. I love the military police. Let's grab level two so that we can do this. Imperial reservists. Go ahead and put some on there. And we have the capital. That's probably not enough. Oh, the fall of Bronze Croix. That's actually really cool. Find those dogs. They're now the now they ain't going to capitulate yet, which is you know pretty normal. Whatever. At this point, I don't mind raising this a little bit higher so that these guys all go. Or you can just do that. Uh, wait, why are you training? Oh yeah, you guys come right there. Keep these guys at bay. I want to take a these guys first. Come up there. Capital. Great. And bronze. Oh, they're not even allied. That's true, they're not even allied, so... Great. Now, this is a case. I'm going to send you guys back here. Cool. You come back here. Get everyone up here. And do that. And put our soldiers right here. To the underbelly of Fethistria. Or the Strawberry Duchy. The Strawberry Duchy. That's right. Oh, the Republic. Yeah, it's clearly one of Skynavia. Skynavia. Cool. Alright, so how many divisions they have? 5 to 17, we got 42. I think we're probably going to win here. Let them stretch themselves out first. That's fine with me. And then, let's just go ahead. You guys should do okay. You all... Well... Give them a hard time. 
we don't have to manually do it because we'll do pretty well anyways. Go ahead and do that. We want to emphasize that group down there. Uh, agricultural aid, my friends. Very nice. Into the Scheisswald. The south is once more under our rule, but local infrastructure is lacking. Grover the Fifth's railroad project did not cover the area as extensively as in the north, mostly because of the vast and horrible Scheisswald forest. This time, we will not let ourselves be intimidated by mere trees. We will use modern machines to carve paths through the forest. Oh, drill for oil. That's, that's cool. Mobile defense. Uh, just do integrated, because that because we can. Lowenian Embargo, the tiny but prosperous city-state of Loena, has long been a trade partner of our hours, acting as an entrepot between Achillea and Herzland, but in recent times they've been seeking closer ties with their rivals, while drafting laws that restrict commerce between us. Today it reached the climax as a formal declaration of was presented to us by their diplomat, saying that Flowena has officially embargoed us and froze our bank accounts. It seems we won't be able to borrow money from them anymore, which means nothing to me. Cool, let's let our guys get down here and just take the capital. Wow, look at those. I love light tanks, man. Just come that way if you can. Cool. Now you hold. Sabotage. Whatever. Cut them off from the capital, maybe, if you can. Oh, actually, you're right there. Changing Occupy Polar Bears. Cool. Oh, uh, 10, 20. Let's grab that. We might want to build those up eventually. Look at this encirclement. I love it. And they're dead. I love it even more when they die. We must have order in the Empire. Without order, we are nothing but mere barbarians. Griffin barbarians. Yes. Good. Oh, Aquila's having a time. And they're gone. Wow, they're really having a time down there. Holy crud. Federated Republic. Is that the American Union State? Well, Theodore, but... Looking pretty nice, looking pretty awesome. Cool. Uh, now what? Drill, military training, region-wide industrialization. Oh, I know what we're gonna do next. We are gonna have a time with these folks down here. Oh, you've you've had too much of a good time, my friends. Well, you're not really my friends, but you know, you get the idea. In the defense of the fatherland. Oh, Grand Duke. They have only 13 divisions. Wow, that's not much. That's really not much. Okay, we get some more political power. We could raise conscription, but we're not. Commando, special forces attack sounds pretty good, but I really am liking the armor here. I'm really liking armor. What can we do for chief of army defense? Entrenchment, recovery rate, speed. Oh man. Can you imagine just even more speed for these light tanks? Uh, recovery rate. Let's go with speed. I never choose speed. Let's go with speed. I am speed. Okay, they want to go to war with more. Uh, when are we going to finish this focus into the Scheisswald? The Scheisswald is such a poopy forest. Or the crap forest, or something like that. You know, with this time we have... What, oh, how much motorized do we have? We got a little bit. I want to make these tanks even better. Great. And we're going to throw in some artillery, because even though they don't really need it, it's always great to do that. And we're out of stuff. And we got more divisions. Uh, give me two of you, and then you guys come here. Now we can do not this. Let's go to March on the Vlogels. What is our dear friend Gerlach done with the autonomy we have given them? Establish a democratic parliament to pander to Republican scum, who his father had fought so hard to subdue. The rule by rabble has brought nothing but economic depression and disorder to Fadzi. Thethizia, which was once a crown jewel of Herzland, this betrayal shall be punished. Absolutely. How long does that take to do? Oh, a mere 30 days. The Roaring Tiger. Hopefully, hopefully you better next year. Um, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can read it if you like. It was a crash course on tank command. As Emperor set out into the countryside along with his crew, only returning as a, after a massive griffin hunt had been started. On a positive note, it seems that the young Emperor showed skill as a tank commander, and has displayed interest in increasing further funding to the Imperial Committee for Armored Research and Development, demanding another tank for his next birthday. Well, it sounds like he might have broken a tank. That's okay, he's still a kid. He needs to learn how to tank. Which, I don't know why I just thought of World of Tanks. I'm not sure why. I, play, I haven't played actually very much of that game. Hmm... Look at that. Oh, God, that artillery is so good. Oh, we're getting so much army XP a game. I love the Griffonian Empire. It's really so far not too difficult, but I'm enjoying it, and that's what matters. If you're not enjoying 
playing a game, then why are you playing it? Maybe except to get achievements or something like that. Cool. After this war, we're probably going to train our soldiers so that they're at least regulars. That's always good to do. Always good. How are we already 29 minutes into this video? That makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. Change. Oh. Queen Chrysalis. Or is it Chrys... Chrysalis. Chrysalis. The Great Queen's Tower. Establish the regional Abteilung for Recruiterium. Oh, we did that. What was that? Oh, so that automatically unlocks. We get more population, less training time, and more... Thank you. Uh, next up, we're going to do the Riches of Strawberry. The Dutch's home of strawberry has always been known for two things. It's insane addiction to strawberry wine and its mineral riches. While with the North Heartlands, now united under Imperial rule, we can begin exploiting these riches to reinvigorate the Empire once more. Wow. That's really cool. Oh, we already are attacking their capital. Great. Uh, what happens if you just encircle it? Uh, military police, too. Great. Uh, I, when, do we, when can we get more... Oh, I really need to focus more on tanks. Holy cow. And the capital is completely encircled. Nice. Which will definitely hurt the supply for everyone down here, which is awesome. Cut those guys off in the front there. What a shame. What an absolute shame. Oh, where's the capital now? Rot Rottendam. Is this supposed to be like the Netherlands of the HRE? I think this is. Rottendam, I mean... Rotend... Rotendadam. Yeah, I think this is. Oh, look at that. That's... Uh, the pocket. I love pockets. I currently have two on my body. Two pockets. Oh. I love it. Now, that's all you need to capitulate. Just take two cities? Nice. <laughs> Liberate states to Romau. No, thank you. The Griffonian Empire is looking kind of awesome right now. Who are we going to go to war with next, though, to prepare ourselves? Oh, we can do that. Great. Under a clear sky. The Skyfall Republic. Oh, hello. Uh, we can let time go on. It's fine. And when you're ready, do that. And then you guys, when you're ready, I'm going to have you guys kind of do this. I want you guys to go cut those guys off at Skyfall. You know, we've already declared one of the parishes of Sikamion. That's cool. And this might actually give us uh, port once we take that city. Oh, what should we name our agency? M F U S. Let me know in the comments below. What should we name our agency? I, I really don't understand. Eh, we'll get that one. Why not? We need names. Wow, we already built up. We've been building up a lot. Holy cow. Uh, I said I'd do this, so let's do that. And then do that. And then do that. Can I put ports? <gasps> I can. Oh, we actually have a port already. Nice. Great. I love it. Maybe make some ships, maybe get some more army XP, perhaps? Or naval XP, I suppose. Ooh, we're making two at a time, that's fine with me. Uh, then we'll make two at uh, a time here. Great. Don't even have to think about it now. So how's the army doing? You guys are looking pretty good, pretty good. I'd like to increase your combat width as well. Make you guys big boys. And the tanks, you can train, even though training... 40 combat with light tanks. Now that's an interesting idea. I want at least one more division here, though. Ah, uh, the riches of strawberry. How about we do the loyal north? It seems that the northerners have learned a lesson in humility. I know I could choose the other research slot one, but whatever. They have abandoned any notions of rebellion and resistance to our rule, and instead are ready to enthusiastically serve the empire, his majesty, and his regent. We happily welcome them back into the, into the fold, although they still have much to do to re fully regain our trust. Makes sense. Makes absolute sense, my friends. Uh, naval stuff, yes. Ship designer. Destroyer subs, which are okay. Carriers, heavy... Sh oh my god, I gotta go with that. When you say battleships or carriers, I'm thinking, mmm, delicious, tasty. Oh, I love it. Actually, how many tanks do we have? 874. Let's get some better... Oh, we can't probably improve the knights too much more. Yeah, we would need quite a bit more there. That's fine. Actually, Imperial Knights. 20 combat with with three of those guys. Nice. Uh, can we convert everyone to Imperial Knights? That would be quite a good thing. Yes, we can. Great. Now, they aren't quite veterans anymore, but that's okay. Let's go and do this, and form a Cryptology Department. Good. How are these guys doing? They're still pretty experienced, though, which is awesome. We don't need that. Thank you. Panzer Divisions. I'm going to throw on Armored Recon Companies, because that only makes sense. 
good. I'd say we're doing pretty darn well, my friends. Pretty darn well. Military police. We don't really need military police on our guys over there. That's okay. Integrated support. Awesome. We're going to grab the next one down. And we shall be done with our focus relatively soon. Cool. So we are missing tactical. Oh, we got fighters. Oh. Equestria recognizes Griffonian. Oh, Griffonian Republic. What the heck? Why? 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 Early fighters. That's okay. We can make. Oh, a pony spy. Or Griffin spy. Cool. I really need to get a mouse pad for my mouse. Uh, sabotage. Ooh, auto blue beacon. Go. Smooch, smooch, huh? Go ahead and do that for now. That'd be fine. Just because I don't want to lose anybody if we're doing stuff. You know, if we someone gets captured. Go ahead and do the Achillean Federated Republic. It seems like we might ha have a war with them eventually. So. I don't know. Maybe we won't. But we probably will. The Loyal North. And let's grab... Bethesian Cadet Schools. Bethesia, Bethesia employs a series of cadet schools to train young nobles and talents into officers and military research staff. These proud institutions can trace their founding to the early days of the Empire when the Bethesians had their own army corps within the Imperial military. Sending our nobles to these schools will see their usefulness to Empire increase massively. I love it. Oh, even even more. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need more. Re mm. Mm. I guess for now. It only costs steel to make light... Oh, God, yeah, make more light tanks. We got plenty of steel, so do that. Maybe do that. Man, we produce things so fast. But it's happy 10-11, my friends. I can't believe it's already 10-11. Great. We got 40 more days for that. That's fine. Ah, more divisions. Great. I might need logistic companies eventually, too. Hmm. Let's, let's double check here. I want to see how many more battalions are we allowed... 35, and training of our 64 allowed. Interception group, changing equestrian border. Cool, cool. Two more guys, that's awesome. And Tom, I do want to build up more infrastructure around here too. Because that would be a very good thing. Is that synthetic oil experiment? Let's grab some more research speed. Could really use that research slot though. How strong is this group? Skyfall Republic. Wow, you look really fancy, man. Ah, Calico. Great. I wanted to go for medium tanks immediately, though. Great. We could convert from stockpile. Eh, we might. Let's try that. I never, I never choose that decision. Bolt action rifles. Do that, too, for now. Fighter ones. Go ahead and convert them for now. <gasps> Duckyards. We're going to make... Uh, ooh. No, no, no. Um, you have more built on there. You have a higher number, so I'm going to get rid of that. The Kaiser class. You have even a bigger number. I like numbers. Uh, get rid of that. Early ship. I don't like those. Cruisers. Honestly, I just want a ship. It can be even a destroyer if we need it. Yeah, I don't want garbage, so. Hmm. Oh, actually, wait. Hold on. Let's get at least one subby boy. Or, mm, destroyer, that's fine. Cool. Oh, wait. That's it. Oh, god dang it. I just want to make a ship, please. Ah, eh, god dang it. We'll just do that or something. There you go. Ah, very nice. Do not show outdated equipment. Make only one. Good. And we'll get that down there. Make some convoys after that. New Scanivia burns. Great. Abolish the Fethesian Constitution. So Grand Duke Gerlach and Thorbeek created a constitution for the country, which was the beginning of the end for the Fethesia. The peasants of Greifen Martian II had their own institutions in place. These will now be erased and replaced with firm but fair rule by imperial governors. Their decision-making will be swift and efficient, unlike that of democratic institutions. Ah, swift and efficient, my friends. Well, let's get some better planes, perhaps? I think... Oh, but we want more naval stuff. I want big ships. Big boy ships. I love the big boy ships. And I love abolishing constitutions. Man, we are doing great on our industry. Jesus, this is so... This is almost feels overpowered, to be honest with you. It is a little overpowered. Probably get some more of this, too. Uh, what can we do with reservists? we got military police on them already. Imperial Mountaineers. We're not even using those guys. 
These guys are looking pretty good, and these guys are looking pretty awesome. I could make them 40 combat width, but maybe once I get logistic companies, probably. Probably. Air Force, air superiority is always good to do. Very nice. Very, very nice. And, oh, the Griffonian Republic. Wow, that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. But oh well. Hmm. King of Wing Body is doing okay. Republic of Asterian. Cool. What is this? Low pony power. Yeah, I mean, we usually have low pony power. Stalingrad is doing pretty okay for now. Equestria, well, they've annexed the Buffalo Chiefdom. And something tells me there's going to be a massive war here very soon. Or at least soon enough. Eventually. Can I build any more? Nope, I can't. Uh, just build a lot more here. Great. We really don't need that much more military factories, so just start building, like, stuff. I should be, like, building place, like, infrastructure, where, you know, we get resources and stuff, but let's do our next focus. Cut or curtail the universities. We can never again allow the southern universities to wield such power as they once did. Instead of being distracted by ruling a nation, they can now focus on their studies and research, while our own governors bring fair rule to all instead of just university members. Romao, in the meantime, will become a regular municipality, its senate being gone for good. Good. More cores, please. More cores. Even though we probably get, like, focuses to help, like, put infrastructure here, I'm just gonna go ahead and manually do it just because we can. Oh. Now this, I like this. I like this a lot. If we can, 50. Build some more oil refineries, because we're going to need a lot of ships. Where we're going. We're going to need a lot of ships. Cool. But you know, this video's gone on long enough, and tomorrow we will go to war with Skyfall. We'll watch Kingdom of Wingbardi go to the war with the Kingdom of Griffinstone. But, most importantly, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. After you let me know, what shall we name our intelligence agency? Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.